Today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Louis Vuitton and they do a lot of things from clothing to sneakers to apparel. They do everything at the house of Louis Vuitton. It's the designer house. We're talking about their fragrances today. They have about 25 fragrances. They have men fragrances, women fragrances, and they do have some unisex fragrances in the middle. Today we're talking about one of their summer spring slash releases and this is Afternoon Swim by the House of Louis Vuitton. If you would like to purchase this bottle like I did, I bought it at Louis Vuitton store in King of Prussia, in Philadelphia P. I leave the link down below to the website and the sales associate that helped me purchase this bottle. So thank you to her in advance. This bottle here is gonna run you $265 for a 100 ml bottle. If you would like to get this bottle refillable when the bottle is empty, it's gonna run you about $165. So it's not too bad if you wanna refill your bottle and wear this as a signature scent or just only have one fragrance, it's a good bang for your buck to refill the same bottle. This is a cool bottle because it has nice magnetic cap and the sprayers are beast mode. Look at the sprayer. Beast mode sprayer. Today's video, I'm gonna break down the performance on my skin, let you know if I like it or I don't, and let you know if it's worth trying out or get a sample, or there are other fragrances that smell similar to this fragrance right here. Note breakdown. Okay, so notes to this fragrance, we have our bergamot, mandarin, orange, ginger, ambergris. Pretty simple note breakdown. They don't have a lot of notes for this fragrance here, and the times I've worn this fragrance, I feel like the note breakdown is actually with the fragrance here. They're not hiding any notes. I feel like they're hiding one note, but we'll get to that later in the video. Let's spray this on my skin, let you know how I feel about it. Love the magnetic cap sprayer. Amazing. Okay. Woo! Okay, this fragrance opens up very fresh in the opening. Even though the name says afternoon swim, very fresh fragrance like you just went swimming. That bergamot and that citrus orange in the opening with the mandarin gives it that nice pop where it's very fresh citrusy orange opening that you're gonna love the way it smells. If you love fresh and citrus fragrances, you're gonna smell it on a test strip or on your skin and be like, I wanna buy it. That's how good the way this fragrance smells, amazing. The problem I have with the fragrances is that even though this smells amazing, there are some pros and cons with this fragrance, which I'll touch in this video. Number one is the performance isn't the greatest, which I'll touch on in this video, but it's just, uh, I would say above average. It's nothing to write home about, but I do like the way this fragrance smells on my skin and in the air. The presentation for this fragrance itself is beautiful. This bottle itself, a 10 out of 10 with the beautiful box, which I'll zoom in the video. It's beautiful. They have a nice white box inside to show it looks like a copycat the Christian Dior bottle, but they're all owned by LVMH anyway. So nevertheless, performance. Okay, so for me personally, um, projection is about half an arm's length. It doesn't push out, push out far. What I mean by that is that the amount of sprays I have to do, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm doing about uh, six to eight sprays on my skin to make it last. It smells good. Like I said, that projection, for that first one hour, hour and a half or so, is good. You're gonna smell the fragrance. So I would say as soon as you spray the fragrance, within an hour to two hours, you're gonna get the most smell of the fragrance in the air off of your skin. Then it's gonna to tone down more and more after that. What I mean by that is gonna get closer and closer to your skin where it's gonna be caused a skin scent. Longevity, you're looking at between four to six hours. Please keep in mind that this is a fresh fragrance and they have so many fresh notes like bergamot, mandarin, orange these notes and fragrances are very fresh and citrusy type of notes where these fragrances are going to are going to dissolve very quickly off of your skin but they smell amazing just keep that in mind this one you're gonna have to reapply throughout the day now the times i've worn it i did about um eight sprays i'll do one two three four five six seven eight and um it would get me through about six hours of work or just going out running casual errands. It gets closer and closer to the skin, but you can still pick it up on your skin where you can smell it, but people have to get really close to you after that hour to two hour mark to smell this fragrance. So if you're looking for a compliment get a fragrance, this is only gonna work for the window of an hour to two hours on your skin. After that, you just got to reapply it with a little travel atomizer if you're going on a business trip, a dinner date, um, hanging out with friends and families at a cookout, so on and so forth. But you can overspray this fragrance. There, nobody's gonna be offended by this fragrance at all, 100%. Then occasions. Okay, so for me personally, you guys know about the performance, which I already touched on. 
this is going to be a spring and summer banger. This is something that you can just go heavy on the sprays and you're going to smell good during the spring and summer. That's pretty much it. I wouldn't say wearing this in the fall and winter time unless you work indoors. If you work indoor, like in an office or warehouse, so on and so forth, this is a great signature scent because you're not going to offend anybody at work. You can wear a fragrance because maybe, you know, people don't want heavy fragrances at work. This is a perfect scent to wear all year round indoors, and it's better to wear outdoors in the heat in the hot summer areas. If you live in a hot or a tropical environment, this is a perfect scent to have. Occasion-wise, I feel like it's just going to be a casual fragrance. <laughs> like I say myself, casual fragrances. Easy to wear. I wouldn't dress this up. I would say dress down casual. T-shirt, jeans, maybe a button up if you want to look a little bit more casual with this fragrance here. But nothing more. I wouldn't wear this with a suit or a three-piece suit. Not at all. I don't think it's going to shine. And it's going to be hard to smell this fragrance off of your skin. This could be a perfect date night fragrance because if you're on a date and the girl or the guy gets close to you or whoever you're dating, they'll enjoy this because they're going to smell you, maybe kiss your neck, give you a hug. They're going to like the way you smell. I guarantee it. Ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so for me personally, um, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I'm giving it a seven. I love this fragrance, but I'm giving it a seven because the performance isn't where it should be at. You should be able to get seven to eight hours with a fragrance from the house of Louis Vuitton. You're paying $265 for a bottle with tax. Where I live at, it's about 280. Some places might be 300 with their taxes. Each state's different, but it's in that 280 to $300 for a 100 ml bottle. There are a lot of niche fragrances that gets you more performance at that 265, 200, or $300 price tag. So definitely keep that in mind. Definitely get yourself a sample before you buy this bottle because you may not like these freshies or it might remind you of another fragrance. Now for me personally, um, this reminds me of another fragrance from the house of Lil Bo, and this is a niche fragrance, Bergamot 22. They have them Bergamot citrus notes where you can smell them and you're like, oh, this smells almost like Bergamot 22, and it does. It's very fresh, clean, citrusy opening. There's nothing wrong with either one of these fragrances to have in your collection. It is redundant to have both. I mean, I have both because I'm a reviewer. I have to review stuff, but if you're just an average person, just buy one and you'll be happy. Performance is in the same category. I'm getting six hours with this one. This one here, I'm getting that six hour mark, but some people I've let try it out. Got about four or five-ish. So just keep in mind between four to six hours, this fragrance will last on your skin. At the end of the day, I like this one a lot. I feel like there is a sea salty note in this fragrance that they didn't put in the list of note breakdowns. So I get a little bit sea salty, like the summer feel, but that's just me. It may not, you may not get that smell on your skin, but at the end of the day, I think this is a great release by the house Louis Vuitton. I just wish it had a little bit more depth, a little bit more longevity, and this will be a seller. This, I mean, it's already a seller at Louis Vuitton, but what I'm saying is it'll be a lot more easier to wear if I got seven or eight hours, I wouldn't complain, especially if for this type of price tag. Sorry I took a couple weeks off to relax. I was tired. I work 56 to 60 hours a week at work. It's hard to come home and make videos on top of that. I've been smelling new fragrances, I just haven't made any videos, and I haven't spent a lot of time with my girlfriend because I'm working, so I spend time with my girlfriend, you know what I mean? She's very important to me. Um, and it's been rough, but I'm going to try to come back and put out more videos for you guys. I care about all you guys, and I'm sorry that I haven't had a chance to put out a lot of videos. More videos are coming soon. If you have any cool video ideas or fragrance you want me to review in the future, please leave the comment down below, let me know. Um, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you like the video. I appreciate it a lot. Click that red subscribe button right now. I really appreciate that. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Be safe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.